Who is Richard Pierce and why is he famous? Well, what if I ask you another question? Who invented the aeroplane? Who carried out the first successful powered flight? What would you say then? Probably the Wright brothers, December 1903 in America. And yet, more than a year before that in New Zealand, a farmer, Richard Pierce, built a plane and successfully flew it across the farm, down the country roads and over the hedges. This is a replica of Richard Pierce's first plane. It consisted of a frame made of bamboo with fabric stretched across it. The wings had flaps, it had a two-cylinder petrol engine, very light in weight, and an undercarriage made from bicycle wheels. Well, why isn't the story of Richard Pierce well known? I guess if you or I had done what he did, we'd be shouting it from the rooftops, but not Pierce. He was a very modest man. He didn't want to brag about his achievements. Also, those early flights were rather uncontrolled. Pierce tended to crash a lot. Here's the remains of a propeller found from a riverbed after one of Pierce's early crashes. That was his first plane. Here's Pierce's third plane. Not a replica of it, but the actual third plane. This was going to be fantastic. It was going to be able to take off vertically and land vertically, to hover in the air like a helicopter, and do all sorts of other wonderful things. The propeller looks a bit like a windmill, but it's actually a very special propeller with blades of variable pitch. Also, it has a propeller at the back, very much like today's helicopters. It had other fancy innovations and ideas, wing flaps at the front, and also many materials that hadn't yet been introduced into aeroplanes. Only one trouble, it couldn't fly, didn't get off the ground, even though Pierce worked on it for 16 years. Without a doubt, Pierce's most successful work was done with his very first plane and he certainly deserves to be hailed today among the pioneers of flight. Because if you look at the ultralights and the hang gliders of today, they bear a remarkable resemblance to Pierce's very first plane. <laughs>